It's a little hot out here in Florida, so we're gonna make this quick. I'm gonna share an example of how he does his training. So for his recall, this is how you're gonna practice at home. He knows all this without leash pressure, if you've seen it, as you've seen in previous videos. How you're going to practice at home is you're going to, for instance, his recall, which is the come command. You're going to say, Onyx, come, a little tug on the leash, and run backwards, right? Good job. Give him praise, right? Every single time he comes, he gets praise. So it's the same thing again. Onyx, come. Nice. Good. Praise, 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 right? That's how you're going to practice the recall, right? Anywhere. Wait till he's sniffing. Wait till he's distracted. Little tug. Come. Good. And soon enough, you'll get a dog with a recall that does not need any kind of pressure or any leash popping, they see something, they hear you say come, they're gonna zoom towards you, right? And then for his sit, he knows sit without anything, but here's how you're gonna practice at home because he has to transfer the lessons from me to you and understand that he needs to listen and learn to you. So for sit, I'm just gonna hold up a little bit. All right, sit. Nice job. Break. break means he's allowed to break the command, whether it's a sit stay, whether it's a down stay, it doesn't matter. Break. And then for down, Take the leash, step on it just a tad down. Good job. Good job, Onyx. Good job. Right? Praise. Now, down means down. That's it. There's no stay. Right? Down. He's getting up a little bit, so I'm going to say down again. Down. Good. Down means down. There's no stay. And he knows not to break the down. Because I said down. I didn't say anything else. Now, as soon as I say, party break, that means yes. That means he can get up, right? We're gonna do that again for the sit. On a sit. Nice. Nope, sit. That's perfect. Because I, I can give you an example of what he does when he gets up. If he breaks, you just put him right back where he was. Oops, sit. Good. Good. Good job. On the break. Yeah, it's good. Right? Good job. Make sure you gotta make sure that you spend a lot of effort on praising him. Make sure he knows he did good. He has to know he did good. Good job. Same thing with the heel. He can do this on or off leash, but you're gonna practice on leash. Um, when you get home, heel. Right? He gets behind you. There we go. See how I don't need the leash really? I can take the leash off. Heel. I'm not putting any pressure on it. When I stop, he stops. There we go. When I stop, he stops. I don't care if he sits. I don't care if he downs. I don't care if he stands. But when I stop, he has to stop. You praise him up. Good job. Break. And tell him he can go sniff in the grass. Good job. And he knows his crate command. Crate needs to go get in the crate. Make sure you love him up and let him know he did very good. I'm going to get him off this hot pavement now, so I'm going to end the video. Just wanted to add in that, um, again, for the praise, make sure you have to. A lot of owners forget this. You need to make sure that the praise is a big factor. And if you have it on you, I didn't have any on me at the time, but I normally use hot dogs. I normally use cheese. Or I normally use some freeze-dried raw because he really enjoys that. And I would use that to help motivate. Remember, because he's a very timid dog, slow, you know, he just wants to, um, he gets out, he gets playful, but when it comes to obedience, he gets a little bored. So what I do for that is I just make sure there's a lot of praise, there's a lot of happiness, there's a lot of food. So I just wanted to add that in the video real quick. Having, he has his footprints from when he came out the crate, but here's an example of his crate training. Onyx, crate. Good job. He doesn't rush out the door or anything. I can close it. Open it, close it, and he doesn't rush out at all. Break. Good job. Good job, Onyx. Right?